So anyways, we're back guys, and um, this is part two of the spear fishing game. So if you haven't seen part one, please look at part one. So anyways, let's get started. So first, on our diver, we have the we have all, all this code. That's it for the diver right now. And we have the spear code. This is it for the spear code. And let's, let's just review the diver code. And this is if green flag clicked, set HP to 100, set rotation style left, right, and all the moving. And spear, oh, when I res oh, oh, when green flag is clicked, it'll set fish to zero. Forever, go to diver. If a key space is pressed, broadcast fire to the spear and wait. When I receive fire to the spear, show, repeat until touching edge, move 10 steps, go to diver. And let's go to the fish. So when the green flag is clicked, go to front layer, set rotation style left, right, move fish, and then define a move fish, go to a random position, set a costume name to join fish, pick random one to four, switch costume to costume name, show forever, if then touching spear, then broadcast got fish, and all of this stuff so, right here. Okay, and then let's get started on what we have. So, fish. So we'll be working on the fish again, because there's more code for the fish. And when I receive got fish, it will stop other scripts in the sprite so that's when you get the fish not stop all because there's it's stop other scripts in the sprite and change fish by one so that's when you know that you caught him and switch costume to join switch costume right here to join the costume name so it's either costume to dead one. Dead. Dead one. So, and then it'll start sound bubble. So I'll explain this code afterwards. So I'm gonna go to the sound and then bubbles. There's already bubbles, yeah. And uh, start sound bubbles. And wait one second. Hide. And wait three seconds. And then I'll move fish. So, as you can see, I'm going to demo it. And as you can see, it's not working that well. Whenever you throw the fish, it's always on the head. So, I'm going to try finding one on the tail. I'm try hitting one on the tail. So as you can see, it goes to the head right there when I just uh, hit it, hit him in the tail. It just went to the head and went through a fish one head. But that does not work as well. So you also have to make one for the tail. So this is not the right coat. Let's shoot. I'm going to demo it one time. As you can see, I'm going to shoot him. I shot him in the back and it went for the front. So this is not the right coat. I'm just gonna stop this and then we're gonna work on the correct code. So when I receive got fish, stop other scripts and fight, change um, fishes by one, fish by one, and then instead of this, we have to replace it. So I'm gonna continue working on the code. So you need an if then statement. We're gonna change this all up later. So if then, um, you need an and. If then the direction of the spear, so it's this tricky thing again. You could change the back first of the spear. The direction of the spear is over than zero. That means the spear is pointing to the right. And um, you need it again. We need actually this one. And the direction. The direction is greater than zero. That means it's pointing to the it's pointing to the right. So and it'll switch costume to join. Let's just take this one right here. Join instead cost instead dead two. So that would be in the back. Okay. 
There are two, yep, that's in the back. See? It's in the back. And then um we're gonna keep on going with the other one. So let's put it right there. Okay, so let's do that. And switch costume. Instead you need direction of spear, but the direction is the other way. Is this way instead? Is less than zero. The spear is pointing to the right, and the fish is pointing to the left. So we're gonna switch the costume name to Dead One. So there. And we also need the other ones. So duplicate this again. Wait, wait a second. So let's delete. Let's duplicate this, and. It's if the, oopsies, that's two, I think let's move this a little bit up, there, let's move this down, okay, alright, so, this is if the spear is pointing to the left, so we gotta get the left one, and then, so the spear is pointing to the left, zero, and the, Fish is pointing to the right. So we can duplicate the last one. So let's just duplicate that again. And then instead the direction of the spear, and then the direction of the fish is left instead. So there. And then we can put this for death too and put this under it there you have it so that's just the code for the fish yep. so you just have to look at the arrows so if it's pointing here if the spear is pointing to the right and the fish is pointing to the right it'll hit him in the back if the spear is pointing to the right and the fish is pointing to the left it'll hit him in the head if the spear is pointing to the left and the fish is pointing to the right it'll hit him in the head and if the spear is pointing to the left and the fish is pointing to the left, it'll hit him in the back. So there we go. And we still have some code to do. Like we still have some spears to do. So when I receive got fish, then it'll hide. So I'm just gonna take out this variable right here. Um, I think, yeah, it's in the fish. So take out the costume name variable and then move the fish right here. Let's actually put the HP on this side and the fish on this side. So here we go, I'm gonna show you. So as you can see, there's one fish right now, so we want it to be more fish. Then you see it hit him in the head. And then we're gonna try to get one in the back, but that was another head. And then, as you see, I got him in the back. That's basically how it works, so we're not done yet. So, we want more fish, because there's two little fish. So, we can just duplicate fish and duplicate another fish. So, I'm going to go to uh, fish two. But instead, you got to make a new message called got fish two. And change that to caught fish two and change this to caught fish two. And you also go to go fish three and say so you gotta do got fish three. So got fish three and got fish three. So I'm gonna show you how it works. It's not completely done yet. Then we go to the spear and you just have to duplicate it and then instead change it to got fish two and duplicate this again and change this to got fish three. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So as you can see, there's three fish instead, and I'm gonna try to catch one right here. So I caught one, it's a headshot, and then this is a headshot. As you can see, there's three fish and there's more. And I got two points, that's good. Yeah. That's basically it. And we also have to add the puffer fish, so it's easy to find. Puffer fish. And we're gonna work on it. It's not that easy, the puffer fish, but let's make it. So let's define, let's make it move fish. 
fish. And to find new fish, it'll go to a random position. Switch costume to puffer fish A. It'll show. And it'll go forever. Move, it'll always move five steps. And if then it's touching, if then touching edge, then if it's on the edge, it'll bounce. So there's no way you can kill the puffer fish unless if it hits you. So, and then you can just duplicate this. If you want more challenge, you can just duplicate the puffer fish and change it a little bit. And yeah, so diver two, and it'll broadcast hit diver instead. Hit diver. So I'm just gonna take this out because that, that could be more complicating. Complicated. So we can just put this right here. Put it right here. Put it like this. And then it'll define in animate fish. So you gotta make a new thing. Animate fish. Animate fish. And then It'll go forever. The next costume. And I'll wait one second. So you have to do this just because you don't want to block the fish from moving. This I meant. And then, so when the green flag is clicked, it'll hide. And go to the front layer. I'll set rotation style left, right, so it won't flip over. Um, I'll wait three seconds. And I'll define move fish. I'll call move fish. And then when the green flag is clicked, call animate fish. And then when I hit diver, when you hit the diver, so I gotta get a sound. So I have to get the sound bonk. Bonk. Yep, bonk. And when I receive fire the spear, no, I mean hit diver, um, it'll start down bonk. It'll hide. Wait three seconds, so that, that's when it hits the diver. It'll go to a random position again. And show. There's almost all the code. It's almost all the code, but I, you can. it's optional if you want to make it color effect. But let's go to the diver. And you got to add if then. This is, um, you need this. If then or. If it if the health is HP is greater HP is less than zero, you can get hit by puffer fish twice. That that might be needed or equal to zero. Then HP equals zero. Then it'll broadcast game over. So when I receive hit diver, I'll change HP by negative 10. And I'll repeat 10 times. I'll change color effect by 25. Change color effect. And then you want to stop the graphic effects in the end, so it changed back to a normal color. And there, we almost have all the code. We also have to get the game over, so we can make and paint a sprite. And you gotta go text and make it red, because whenever you lose, you always have to do red. And then let's use marker. So I'm gonna write this. I'm gonna write game over. 
And let's make this bigger and center it. That's around the thing. And then when I when the green flag is clicked, it will go to the front layer. Um, go to X zero zero. So that's just the middle. Y zero. I'll hide. And when I receive game over, it will show and it'll stop everything. So that's all the code for game over. So I'm just gonna demo the code and see it. As you can see the popper fish, the only way to get the popper fish out is to um, let it hit you, so I was fortunately unlucky because it spawned on me. And I'm collecting the fish, so there you go, three fish. And fish, fish. And fish. And you can't kill the buffer fish, as you can see. I'm trying to kill it. You can't. Oh, it spawned on me. That's unlucky. I've got 10 HP left. So there's no way to win, but you can make a winning if you want to. So it says game over. So there, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below for else, what else videos that you want. Thank you for watching. Bye.